On the eve of Ashura, try to stay awake and listen to the tragedies of Imam Hussein and his family salam. There are many recommended prayers, but in particular, one should recite Ziyarat Ashura, Ziyarat al Nahya, and the night prayers known as Salat al Layl or the Tahajjud Salah. On the day of Ashura, contrary to popular practice, fasting is not recommended on this day. However, one should stay away from food and water until late afternoon in remembrance of the fact that the camp of Imam Hussein salam were denied food and water for three days. Focus on the great tragedy that took place on this day and avoid unnecessary discussions. Recite Salawat as many times as possible. Recite Surah Al-Ikhlas 1000 times or as many times as you can. Repeat as many times as you can Allahumma il an qatalat al Hussein wa awladihi wa ashabihi. O oh Allah, condemn and withhold your mercy upon the killers of Hussein and his family and friends. Many narrations point towards attending gatherings in the remembrance of Abu Abdullah and the tragedy to carry out Azadari for the love of Imam Hussein. Therefore, Constantly try to remind yourself of what happened in Karbala on the day of Ashura by attending majalis and mourning over the events that took place. On this day, it is also recommended to recite Ziyarat Ashura taught to us by Imam Muhammad al Baqir, followed by Dua al Qama from Mafatiha al Jinan, which was taught by Imam Jafar al Sadiq. Our Imam, peace be upon him, also recited Ziyarat al Nahiyah to mourn over his grandfather Imam Hussein salam, which we may also recite. There are also many recommended prayers which can be found in Mafatih al Jinan. It is narrated that the battle started after the time of Fajr and that Imam Hussein salam, was martyred around the time of Asr. Therefore, after the time of Salat al Asr, recite Dua Asharat and the Ziyarat of Condolences, Ziyarat Taziya. Finally, recite the short dua that Imam Hussein salam, taught to his son Imam Zain al Abidin salam, when he came into the tent to bid farewell to his family members. He said, Whenever you have a special need or are faced with any calamity or crisis, or are inflicted with any grief or hardship, then recite the following supplication. Please remember the lovers of Ahlul Bayt around the world and those who are being oppressed in your hajats.